Wilkins, one of the great players in college basketball. Many like him to the Dr. Julius Irving. He is called the human highlights film. Well, he's an exciting ball player. He likes center circle. He likes the main event like this evening. And the other thing about him, when he gets in the air, he can disco in the air. He hits the offensive boards real well. And today, he's going to take the prettiest girl home from the party because he's back in North Carolina where he was born. <laughs> All right, here are the starting lineups. Let's go to the public address for the rundown. Happy Valentine's Day from the Greensboro Coliseum. Introducing the starting lineups now for this afternoon's game. First for the Georgia Bulldogs. Number three, a guard, 6'2", senior from Brooklyn, New York, Eric Marbury. Number 10, a guard, 6'5", sophomore from New York, New York, Vern Fleming. The center, number 35, 6'7", junior from Macon, Georgia, Terry Fair. At forward, number 25, a 6'6", sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia, James Banks. The other forward, number 21, 6'7", junior from Atlanta, Georgia, Dominique Wilkins. And the head coach for the Bulldogs, Hugh Durham. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's greet your North Carolina Tar Heels. The guard, number 23, 6'5", freshman from Wilmington, North Carolina, Michael Jordan. Also at guard, number 21, 6'3", senior from Bronx, New York, Jimmy Black. At center, a sophomore from Lakeland, New York, 6'9", number 41, Sam Perkins. The forwards, number 44, a 6'8", sophomore from East Meadow, New York, Matt Doherty. The other forward, number 52, a 6'9", junior from Gastonia, North Carolina, James Worthy. And the Tar Heels head coach, Dean Smith. North Carolina, record of 19 and 2, coming in. University of Georgia at 13 and 8. The Bulldogs of Georgia who have won the last four. They've had a shaky time through the month of January. They've come on here in February. Dominique Wilkins, who will jump center, incidentally, has controlled 16 of the 21 opening tips, although he has usually been the shorter man. Got it again, but he stole that one a little bit, Mob. And this is Vern Fleming, covered by Jimmy Black. And here is Wilkins. Oh, boy, did he get up there. Controlled wow. by Terry Fair of Georgia. Traveling violation on Terry Fair. Watch Dominic Skywalk in here. Watch him go up and try to cuff dunk this one. There, here he comes. There he goes. Up, up, and away. North Carolina taking over. Sam Perkins out for Jimmy Black. As we set the Tar Heels. Worthy. Yes. Absolutely a pro. The officials this afternoon, Paul Hausman, Hank Nichols, Don Moreau. And white ball is the call of North Carolina. We'll take over. Strong move by Jordan. Mike Jordan, who has had his shooting problems recently, particularly from the outside, giving the Tar Heels a 4 0 lead. That's not rare for a freshman. They have up, that ups and downs. This is Eric Palmer. It is goodbye for James Worthy. Talk about human films of highlights. I think we're going to have it today, Bob. And a timeout is called by Hugh Durham of Georgia. The Tar Heels off and running. Wait for the commercial timeout. I thought North Carolina made that mistake in the finals in Philadelphia last year at the top of the second half against Indiana. And everybody in the lineup has scored for North Carolina. A rare Tar Heel turnover. And here they come on a three-on-one. Make it seven for seven. Got to slow down a little bit, George. You're playing right into the hand. who went out at Eric Mulberry. 
across that time. Substitutions for North Carolina. Jim Braddock, Close Peterson have come on. So Dean Smith going to the bench early. There was the feeling early in the season that Dean was reluctant to go to his bench in contrast to his usual style. I don't like him doing it this, this early in the game. I personally don't think it's smart, but he's one of the best coaches to ever lived. Obviously, he's our gold medal coach of Montreal. Has won everything but the gold in the NCAA, but he's been there so often. I think the trick in coaching is getting to the Final Four, not winning. So it's 14-3, and two substitutions came in. 14-5. I, I just don't think it's a good substitution. Let's mark that down. All right. Eight with eight out of eight as Buzz Peterson comes off the bench. The Tar Heels, eight shots, and they scored it. Terry Fair lays it off. Beautiful pass. Laid it inside to Brian Fleming that time. Georgia 16 to 7. So a new backboard of Braddock and Peterson. Doherty. Yes. Unbelievable. 18 to 7. The 9 for 9. Pure block. All the rejection. Here's Braddock. I still don't like it, I, yeah, but that's his style of play, and obviously he's probably one of the most successful coaches in the country. He's proven it over 21 years. And what is the thinking of you, Durham, in not going for the timeout? A lot of coaches wait for the commercial timeout. It usually comes in at 16 minutes to go, but there has to be a dead ball for the commercial timeout to come in. Because if they call the timeout, the commercial timeout does not come in. Their timeout counts as the commercial. Doherty committed that last foul, so Wilkins now three out of four from the line. North Carolina leading it 20 to 9. They've hit on all 10 field goal attempts. Boy, they come out strong, hard man to man. George is still sitting back in the zone, a 2 3 zone, trying to protect underneath. Cross, Jeff Polo. Now, uh, in that North Carolina lineup now. This is Jordan. Yeah, they don't want to take another shot because it'd be the first guy to miss. <laughs> this is Ron Fleming for the Bulldogs. And a traveling violation. They are really tight. Yeah, and they're trying to do it individually. It's a nice pass underneath for George, but individually, they're first looking for the one-on-one -on -one move, which we call the blacktop move, the playground move. North Carolina, 10 for 10 from the floor. And Dean Smith has shuffled his lineup there in his opening minute. Jimmy Black. And there is the first car he this. The draw now realizes that they're human. All right, now they're setting up. This is a little better now. Slow down a little bit, setting up. But Carolina is still trying to push them out. Take them out of their rhythm. Nice pass. Oh, he hung on the rim, man. He got away with it. Terry Fair from Burns Plummet. So North Carolina leading on 20-11. And it will be Georgia ball. Here's an unusual... Replay. I think it's James Black that takes the shot. And we're showing this because this is the first miss in 11 shots. <laughs> Could be a record start of the ball game. I don't know if they keep that type of statistic in the NCAA. Carolina now has gone to his own. A 2-1-2 or 2-3. See the ball sitting back there in the paint. Nice shot from above. You see the outside shot taken right now. And Banks able to throw the ball. So Georgia down by seven. 13, 12 and a half remaining in this first half capacity.
listening crowd. Better than 15,000 here at the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. Get the ball to Worthy of Perkins. This is Doherty. Trying to kick the ball inside. George is trying to stop it going inside. And the Bulldogs looking to get right back in. Apology to you, Dora. Maybe he shouldn't have called a timeout. Set back again in the 2-3 zone to protect the inside. They want to protect the paint against Perkins and Worthy. Keep the ball out of their hands. Jordan can hurt him from the outside. Here it goes. Nice rebound by Worthy. Well, law of averages, foul to catch up. So the Tar Heels, after hitting their first turn, see Georgia move right back in at Dominique Wilkins for this first field goal, and it's a three-point North Carolina lead. Basketball's funny. I didn't like those substitutions. They were blowing them out there. They're going against the team. Georgia wasn't making any substitutions. There was still 16 minutes left in the game. They'll bury a team, give them a break in the second half. Oh, Sam Perkins with a beautiful move off the glass for the second field goal. North Carolina by five, 22, 17. We're nine minutes in, first half. See, Marlboro has a um, patch under his eye. He got three stitches in the game yesterday against LSU. A very big win, especially they won it down at Baton Rouge. And he had a big ball game. That stopped a 23-game home win streak for the LSU Tigers. When we resume following the timeout, North Carolina will take over off the Georgia turnover. 10-48 remaining. This month, you're one of the guys now. Take a look at Hollywood's hottest leading men. <laughs> And watch them lead the way. The power and beauty of the. Four from the line to this point. He says his goal is to do a 360 reverse stop. Well, not his goal of life, necessarily. He's tied up. And it will be North Carolina ball on the alternate possession. Now watch here. He goes up. It's a good block. Doesn't even get off his feet, Mont. Mont was the outstanding ball player in Virginia last year, and uh, I thought it was quite a, a score for Dean Smith to go up there and recruit him. Good first step by Doherty. And the foul worthy hit on the hand by Fair. Terry Fair, number 35, a 6'7 junior out of Macon, Georgia, commits his first personal foul. And here's Sam Perkins back. Martin will sit down. Surprisingly, that's George's first team foul. It's four on Carolina. It's normally the opposite. Now, we're playing on a neutral court here today. This is Greensboro. The home court for Carolina, the Tar Heels, is Carmichael Auditorium in Chapel Hill. It's not truly a neutral court. I was going to say, an alleged neutral court. They play only two games here. They played the uh, University of Southern California earlier this season. But it is strictly North Carolina crowd. And Carolina leading it now, 25-17. A reminder, we'll be selecting the most valuable player for today's game a little bit later on. So uh, why don't you watch it all to see who you would select. Fans wanted a call as Marbury pulled up. He took an extra step that time, but he got away with it. They're very hesitant in bringing the ball up against pressure, George. 2-3 zone, North Carolina, trying to stop Dominic Wilkins inside. Bird Fleming, the high school All-American. Out of New York City, bringing Georgia with it six. And you see the time left, first half, eight and a half per minute. North Carolina has its starting lineup back in. Worthy, Boston. Very high dribble by Clemens. Well, he's pretty tall for guard. He's around 6'5". He gets a lot of rebounds, and he moves his uh, the defensive man underneath with him. Terry Fair not able to hit, keeps it alive. Tip, but did not get the ball. Jordan. Excellent pass by Jimmy Black. Matt Doherty in there. Give Matt a little room and it's two points. Well, 
Carolina, as you see, 13 for 17 from the floor after they hit their first 10 to get it going. Harbor. Nice. Very nice. Dominic Wilkins with a second field goal has seven points in all. Very quick off the boards. He scored most of his points on the offensive rebounds. Dominic with a vertical jump of 43 inches. He did play 40 minutes yesterday, but the one without a take its goal. And it's Dominic controlling. This is a big time down, this, this one for the dogs. They can score here to right in the ball game. Carolina is back to a man to man. Watch him get it to Dominic. Go ahead, Dominic, do your thing. Oh, lost it. Off the triple team. Oh. Nice recovery by Fleming. In the right place at the right time. And a 27 23 North Carolina lead. This is Perkins. Back out for Jordan. And Black gets it to Dorothy. He stepped out. It was on the end line. And North Carolina has turned it over. Substitutions again for Dean Smith for Thursday. A timeout is called. 621. We're going North Carolina. This is Marv Albert with Al McGuire. We'd like to extend an apology to those of you who were expecting to see the Kentucky Alabama game yesterday through a good portion of the country on NBC. We had difficulties with the telephone line, so as always, we blame it on the telephone company. But we're Bob sorry. Bell. Yes, sorry. Uh, those of you who were expecting to see the game, as a result, a uh, good portion of the country saw Virginia Clemson with Virginia taken to the final seconds, getting by Clemson. Here's Barber. Eric Barber with eight. And Georgia down by as many as 13 now, trailing by only two. They broke down the press real fine that time. Well coached for that move. This is Chris Bluss, who just returned, along with Jim Braddock. This is Braddock. Still trying to block up underneath Georgia. They give him the outside shot, but nothing inside. Braddock got a big one last week against Furman with 16 points. Plus, all oh. shifted by Dominic. Fleming with a little shake and bake, but had nowhere to go on Braddock. There's Fleming again. Banks. Yes. Money in the bank. Oh, not bad. <laughs> not good either. No, no, no. The Brinks hold up, I'm thinking about. <laughs> James Banks has tied it at 27 with 5-10 left first half. Braddock's going to have to shoot from the outside at the top of the key. He can bottom it out, uh-uh. Beautiful play by Fleming. That's where his six foot five is in, so he's a big guard. Good effort by Fair to keep it alive in Georgia. Great chance. Take the lead here. Four and a half minutes left to go. There it is. He's going to take it right from there. Wilkins. Yes. There go. Georgia by two. Welcome home, Dominic. This court is sad to soaring now. Georgia down by as many as 13 as North Carolina came out, hitting its first 10 shots from the floor, but now trailing by two. They are now doing a 2-1-2 two -two zone. They're protecting underneath. But Sam can eat up the man that's on him to get it to Perkins is all she wrote. You got to just put that up, Braddock. Uh, hey, that guy's a... What a player. He won the Penn State game in overtime up there. I had him against Virginia when he came in off the bench and beat Virginia. Talk about an unsung hero. Jim Braddock with a second field goal. He hit those clutch foul shots against Virginia. Against the, the Cavaliers to pull it out. Dominique Wilkins with 11 points. And a Georgia by two, 31-29. This is Braddock in the backcourt now with Black. Doherty up front along with Rust and Perkins. Braddock from long range. Last time.
untouched by Terry Fair of Georgia. As James Worthy checks back in for North Carolina, 3.17 left first half. And it's a two-point Bulldog lead. Georgia taking over. Oh, just unbelievable. I knew they were going to float that ball into the second big man. It to be Sam Perkins. Dominique went up and just, just caught the ball. It might have been goaltender. That's the third rejection for Dominique Wilkins. Substitution, Gerald Crosby has come on. It's Crosby with it. He's in the Georgia lineup for the first time. Has the good outside shot. Pulling Carolina out now. Georgia by 231-29. As you see the clock running down, 235 left first half. Pretty hard for Carolina to cover these Georgia guys man to man. Georgia likes more of a transition game. Now they settled in, got their confidence. Here he goes. Take the down, Dominic. Come on. Do your thing. There you go. Make your thing, baby. On Perkins and beating beautifully. The foul is called. Terry Fair will go to the line. So Dominic showing us his passing skills right here, his rejection skills. Watch his blocking skill here. He comes up. Watch him go up. up. Wow. Wow, we went out of camera range that time. He can do it. He's a true All-American. Last year, after his sophomore year, he said that he would stay in college. He held a press conference at the end of the spring football game and said he's going to stay for his junior year. There are some people who felt the hesitation this season as to what will happen with Dominique Wilkins after this. His junior year has hurt the Bulldogs of Georgia. Jimmy Black, the quiet star, out of Cardinal Hayes High School in the Bronx. And Georgia will throw in. University of Georgia picked in many preseason top 20s after reaching the finals of the SEC tournament last year, but they haven't been able to win the uh, close ones, and that's where they were. The steal by Perkins. Very bad, very bad pass that time. It was their possession on a tie-up. Should have held the ball. He got the Team. See a double team there. Now he gets panicky. He knows the five count's coming and he throws the ball into the paint, which was simply a no no. Chris Rust has come back. Dominic Wilkins now sitting down. Lamar Hurd has come on. The save by Fleming in the backboard. George is losing a little bit of his composure. Here's Fleming. Dropped his head too soon in that layup. But Georgia will get it right back. That's one of the few errors by Georgia. He doesn't usually do something like that. Pretty hard to throw the ball over Sam Perkins' head. <laughs> we have 35 seconds remaining. First half. If Carolina allows it, they'll play for one shot. And the foul committed by Black. All right, that's the sixth foul. Now, the next one's one and one, one of the bonus. I look for Carolina now to settle back in the zone, a 2-3 zone, knowing they're in the one and one. Uh, they're not going to do it. Coming up at halftime, Al will be visiting with his close friends, the North Carolina cheerleaders. This will be more on the low-key side. They're not that close. <laughs> Down to 20 seconds left of the half. Georgia in possession, North Carolina leading by one. Want to take the shot with about six seconds, seven seconds. They double up on Crosby. No, no. no. Bad play. I'm surprised Carolina didn't go to his own then. Forced him to shoot from the outside. 
But again, it's, uh, I don't know the material that well. Mike Jordan committing the foul, the second. Very, very foolish foul. Freshman, freshman move. Puts him in the one and one. Yeah, they're just, they're just winding the clock down. About 11 seconds left. He reaches in and hits him. Now it's 10 seconds left in the clock. Oh, Crosby not able to take advantage of the one and one. And North Carolina will take over. Buzz Peterson has come on, replacing Mike Jordan. New curve looking on. Has seven seconds remain in this first half. Jerry Black, three seconds. Black deflected short as the horn goes. North Carolina players claiming it was a quick horn, but that is the end of the first half. 11 points in all. Good first half for Eric Marbury, the senior out of Brooklyn. There's Dominic uh, making his way over the rim. And for North Carolina, and keep in mind, they hit their first 10 shots from the floor. The high man is James Worthy with nine points. He hit four of five in the first half. Matt Doherty was three for four. Mike Jordan, two out of three. The same for Sam Perkins. So after the 13-point lead, run up by the Tar Heels, Georgia coming right back. And as a result, we open up the second half, North Carolina by one, and it's Georgia in possession. This is Byrne Fleming. He's in the backcourt with Eric Arbery. Arbery off the overplay, threw it too hard. He tried to get it to Wilkins. North Carolina came out just like did the top of the ball game, hard man to man. Top of the ball game, they jumped out to a 13-point lead after six minutes. Dean made some substitutions. Georgia settled in, closed the gap to one point at halftime. Jimmy Black, Mike Jordan, and the backcourt. This is Sam Perkins up front with Matt Doherty and James Worthy. Georgia wants to give him the outside shot. That's why they're sitting in the one-two-two zone. See him down there, tight inside the paint. They want to cut off Perkins and Worthy. Possibly. If Perkins says all he can eat is he wants to shoot him out there. Hello, That is number four for Dominique Wilkins. Worthy. Perkins. There's hanging time there. He has to drop his head away so it doesn't hit the backboard. Sam Perkins connecting on the three-point play. And North Carolina leads by four, 36, 32. He'll attack at half court as soon as he gets to the half court line. Take over on the travel. 
Jordan and Black must shoot from the outside. They got five men swarming around the big three. I'll put Matt Dard, he's one of the big three. He might be just an inch or two away, but he's a super ball player. And the steal by Jordan. <laughs> nice and soft, no effort. Now they're going to put the pressure up for Carolina. Try to turn them over and get a run going. Foul committed by Black on the inbounds. And for Jimmy Black, his second. And again, pressure. I just outlet it to Fleming. That's Jordan all over Marbury. James Banks handles the ball well. He's 6'6", 215. Only a sophomore. Uh, under pressure, they move Banks up. He's the safety bound. He gets no types of zone for man-to-man -man full court. Here's Banks. And Black overthrows Worthy. Wow, he hit that, he hit that stand at that time real hard. Hope he's all right. Should have a timeout right here to check that. Oh, I see you wax it. Matter of fact, the basket even now, 15 seconds later, is still vibrating a little bit. Dean Smith asked how he is. He said, I'm all right. Here's Braddock back in replacing Jordan. Three and a half gone by, second half for Greensboro, North Carolina, and the Tar Heels leading Georgia 38. 34. Alley oop! Oh, 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 oh. Wilkins lost it. <laughs> this is Braddock. Worthy. And Wilkins wide open. Worthy. North Carolina by six. 40 to 34. Should have been a foul. And Georgia out of control. Here's Matt Doherty. An eight point North Carolina lead and an ovation for the Tar Heels. Good call timeout. They needed that real fast. Slipping down eight points. They can lose control of the ball game. The Greensboro Coliseum is rocking. Five minutes gone by second half. North Carolina. Five. This is Marv Albert with Al McGuire from Tar Heel Country, Greensboro, North Carolina. We turned those averages around when they come out at 52%. George is only shooting 33. And Carolina is still perking, even though they slipped down 20 points. 44.9 is decent shooting. You win ball game shooting that. North Carolina has been beaten only twice this season. Losing to Virginia and Charlottesville. And the fans look for the travel. Some shaky moments here for the Bulldogs. Dean Smith's such a great coach. He knows the Achilles heel on George is their ball handler. And he's keeping the pressure on him constantly. The other North Carolina loss in the hands of Wake Forest. And that has been it. Eric Marbury will go to the foul line. It was hacked. Jimmy Black. Uh, check that. Mike Jordan picking up his third. And here is Marbury, who earlier this season, very erratic. A young man with much talent, sometimes plays out of control, but has been playing under control in recent games. Uh, you can catch the tape on his face now. When it comes to the foul line here, see the tape on his face? He picked up three stitches in the first half of the game yesterday against LSU, and the second half came out and scored 12 points. I wonder if he got six stitches when he, when yeah. he scored 24 points. And he had some key foul shots down the stretch in the final seconds. 42-35, North Carolina by seven. They went by 13 in the opening minutes, and Georgia came right back at him. Carolina spread them out so they can kick the ball underneath. Good play by Carolina, spreading them out. Carolina has to get inside. That's where their strength is, with their two All-Americans. 
Whoa! Close. Fleming nearly picked it off. Matt Doherty. Matt Doherty got the basket. He pointed over to Black saying thank you for the ball. When a ball player points to another ball player, that's saying thanks for the pass. Matt Doherty, a sophomore from East Meadow, New York, with his fifth field goal, has 10. And Terry Fair was hooked from behind. Perkins collects his second. Sam Perkins had a tough time against Maryland. The other night of that three-point win by North Carolina, Perkins took three shots all night long, all three in the first half. That was it. They could not get him the basketball. Well, as long as they win, basketball is a team game, not an individual game. You can do no better than win and no worse than lose. Here's Banks. A little touch my guy. And last touch by Black of North Carolina. Yes, Jimmy, you did touch it last. Let's hope we touched it last. This on the three play. There, there, Jimmy touched it then. Oh, no, Jimmy's right. No, nope. he touched it then, he's wrong. He wouldn't lie for a Catholic school up in the Bronx, right? Jimmy Black from Cardinal Hayes in the Bronx. Wilkins. Dominique, who can do it from outside, now with 13 points. And it's a seven-point North Carolina lead. That was a 16-foot jumper. George was in the 2-3 zone. Again, I'm repeating myself, but they got to stop Carolina inside. Otherwise, it's tap city. George and Black have to take the outside shots. Get it to, get it to Black, Matt. Let it fly, Jimmy. What a bad pass. Air ball. It's a three-on-one. He could hit that guy in the right when he was going along. He knew he was on national TV. <laughs> and Eric Palmer with the schoolyard move has brought Georgia with it. 5, 34, 39. Watch the field. That's a bad shot. Not well, he has to take it. Jordy nearly broke it up. Oh, Just watch Sam the man flying around in there. Here he goes. <laughs> we used to call him the plastic man. He doesn't like that. He says when he finishes college, he's going to take my job as a commentator. And he'd probably do a better job. Al, I know that you are shaking with that thought. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just hope I'm alive five years from now. <laughs> Worthy picked up a foul as third. It's Carolina by four. 44 to 40. So the Bulldogs in the midst of another run. Them dogs, them dogs. We have 12 10 remaining of the game. Nice plus. Perkins with Moss. They changed their zone then with that 1 3 1, which is dangerous. Leaves the bottom open. This is Fleming here at Marbury up the guards. Wilkins, Banks, and Fair up front. Wilkins. Not a good shot. He hit one earlier. But he was gone at that time. He had to force it a little bit. Now they're back into the 2 3. Now, he missed his first 
Brock, which would have helped him. Oh! Is he put out? That basket should be good. Yes. Good? Yeah, okay. Show me how you stretch out, Dominic. Get up there, Dominic. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Look at where he is. An example of hang time. Well, Dominic Wilkins, here's a double header on him. Watch as he goes up in there. He's on the offensive end now. He won't make the first shot. Here he goes up, misses the tap. He goes right back up and puts it in. Matter of fact, he put it on the way down because he had to get Curtin's hands out of the way. Now watch this block shot that was goaltend. Look where his head is. Hello, Ma. Well, uh, Gilman highlights, Phil, 15 points, nine rebounds, four blocked shots. And we have 10 and a half remaining in the game. Okay, here we go. North Carolina leading Georgia 48 to 42. Here's where Georgia has a problem, bringing the ball up. Carolina's putting pressure on him. Now Banks, they try to put it into the forward's hands because he can take Matt Doherty. And a new backcourt for North Carolina, Jim Braddock. And Buzz Peterson have come on. Braddock guarding Fleming. And Peterson up on Marbury. Beautiful play. Perkins got caught on the overplay. Good play. They're doing an alley-oop plot then on... Here's an alley-oop play that doesn't work. They overplay and leaves the inside man open underneath. He's underneath here. Then Matt Doherty catches him, which we call a mortal sin, which is a three-point play. Now, here's another angle. Now, watch Matt on the outside of him. Absolutely um, breaks him over. So, we can get within three points if he bottoms this one out. Terry Fair. They don't have a true center on Georgia. He's only six foot seven. Really should be playing as a power forward. He's one for two from the line thus far today. Three-point play for Fair. And it's down to a three-point North Carolina lead. Jimmy Black just returned from the lineup in the backcourt with Mike Jordan. This is Doherty up front with Worthy and Perkins. Got to shoot to the outside. Jordan, let it fly. Let it fly, son. They got it all boxed up too much inside. Uh, trying to force it in too much. He stepped out. See what happens when you're inside men like that and they're overplaying. On a missed shot, they got inside position for the rebound. So what you do is once they get inside position, the outside men have to put the ball up. And Georgia down by three in possession. Fleming handling a tough oh. pass. Wanted to kick it over to Dominic that time, but we, we cocked in the air, put it up. Very good. The Bulldogs with a one. 48-47. Now watch how they clog up the middle under there. See, gang? They're staying right inside the paint tight. They don't want Perkins or Worthy to get the ball. They'll give it the outside shot. George still trying to force it in. Don't force it in. Come to the top of the key. Take the shot. Doherty has to shoot. Black has to shoot. Or George has to shoot. No, nope, he can't get in there anymore. There's no room. No. And Doherty forced hey, the issue of, for Worthy. What am I telling you out there? Here, here's where they were playing before. Look how the paint's clogged up underneath. <laughs> all the red in tight there. They can't get the ball into those guys. Not once they set the two three zone. Back live, Georgia with a chance to take the lead. New Durham parking instructions to Vern Fleming. Want to spread them out a little bit, Georgia. Get Carolina who's playing man to man. They'll try to get the ball to Dominic in a moment. Wilkins posting down low. Worthy all over him. Nah, and of course, all handles. Carol. Worthy. Nice play by Worthy. Good body control. George's ball handling leaves a lot to be desired. Here's a nice play by Worthy. Watch when he kicks the ball back into Worthy. He could get called for charging, but he flares over to the left. Keeps his eye on the rim. Two shot foul. So Vern Fleming commits the foul, and Worthy with six field goals, one out of two from the foul line with two shots. He's only a 65% free throw shooter. Let me tell you something, Bob. 
the last two minutes of the game, he's a 98% foul shooter. He is what you call prime time foul shooter. And it's North Carolina by three. 50 to 47. Eight minutes remaining in the ball game. I'm glad he made that last one. <laughs> You're putting a lot of pressure on this. See, they can't handle the ball. Very important point here right now. Caroline has committed six personal fouls. George has only committed two. So from now on, every foul against Carolina becomes one and a bonus. And that was number four on Mike Jordan. Back in Greensboro, North Carolina, this is Marv Albert with Al McGuire. And Al, I'd like to wish your son Rob well. I know he underwent an emergency uh, operation this past Thursday night. Hope that everything uh, turns out well. It's come along fine. He was in New York. He lives in California. He was in New York on some business. And, and thank God some friends got him to the hospital and it was an appendix. And uh, everything's fine. So we're pleased and thank God. And we'd like to uh, wish our very best to NBC producer David Stern, who went off and got married today. Yeah, but his game never got on the air yesterday. Yes. Maybe that was the reason. <laughs> Eric Barbary not able to hit. Yes, David Stern, the producer of the Kentucky-Alabama game yesterday. That never did make it. Dominique Wilkins committing his second personal foul. And North Carolina will take over. 13 foul picked up by the Bulldogs of Georgia. So the Tar Heels, record of 19 and 2 coming in. Second in the nation in all the polls. Clinging to a three point lead. They led by as many as 13 at the start. They hit their first 10 shots from the field. Incidentally, our crack that assistant, Steve Dance, just checked it out. The all time North Carolina record at the start of the game is 12 straight. The uh, Georgia started the 2-3 zone. Dean Smith told the guys to pull the ball out. They're going to have to go man-to-man. -man. They still haven't gone man-to-man. -man. They're just putting pressure on the ball. You, you're going to have to put them man-to-man. -man. You're down three points. All right, here they go man-to-man -man now. This is the four corners. This is not a delay with Dean as much as an offense. He doesn't have the right team in there for four corners, but I think it's a little bit too slow. You gotta get the ball in the Black's hands. Now you feel safe. Phil Ford made this famous. I don't think it ever would become famous if it wasn't for Phil Ford. They look for a back door to get a layup. This is Jordan. Spotted the opening, took a batter. Mike Jordan playing with four personal fouls. Here he goes. This is close to a charge here. Call it yourselves. No, he did move over on them. One shot, Jack. And Jerry Fair committing the foul. North Carolina has only been to the line five times this afternoon, while Georgia has been there 14 times. <laughs> Well, that's three a point point. big three-point play. And a six-point North Carolina lead, 53-47. Now you got the other side of the coin. Carolina will sit in a very tight two-three zone. Make him shoot from the outside. Dominic Corson. That is not the shot that he would prefer. He hit one earlier, and it may have encouraged him. Now they're going to go to the chess game, keep the ball out. Georgia can still give another three fouls before the one and one. Two more. Everybody has to get up on their men. That's Wilkins all over black. Worthy. Back out for Perkins. Got to stay up hard, man to man. Stay up hard. Count. George is allowing the outlet pass. They can take this clock all the way down. And Jimmy Black fouled by Vern Fleming. For Fleming, that is his second. 
off the boards this afternoon. It's all been even at 19 apiece. Now you have been talking. That's all I've been hearing, in fact, uh, the last couple of days about a new rule you're pumping for in college basketball by uh, the next century. Uh, I'm saying by the next century, I believe that no team should have more than 32 feet combined on the floor at any one time. <laughs> Now, that would be, if you had four seven-footers, that would be 28 feet. The other guy had to be a midget, or it would have to be Eddie Arcaro or uh, Willie Shoemaker. It had to be four feet. Someday you'll see it, because it's only going to be a matter of time before a team can put three seven-footers out there. Foul committed by James Banks. Well, let's see. University of Georgia has a player by the name of Darryl Pee Wee Leonard, who goes about 5'5". Five, five. We have not seen him here. Saturday, so he fit in very well in that situation. I just think by the next century, this type of rule will come in. Are you pumping hard for this? Well, uh, <laughs> not that hard. <laughs> just yeah. under five minutes remaining of the game, and North Carolina clinging to that six-point lead. Yeah, they got it spread out. What you got to do is stay with your man until he kills his dribble, and then double team. Stay with him. Now, when he kills his dribble, no, you can't go after him, Fleming, while he's dribbling. It's up to Dominic to make him stop dribbling. When he kills his dribble. Dolly, a strong move. And Georgia takes over. Terry Fair for Brian Fleming. Good try, but they had him in a one-on-one. -on -one. They got all good foul shoes out there. I thought maybe the clock was more important than the chance of making a layup. Off the overplay, Fair. Whoa! Tough dunk. You got a four-point spread now. 17 for Dominique Wilkins. 53-49 with four minutes left in the game. Too early for a pull-up. It's still too early. You got to keep going for the basket. Spread them out. Go for the basket. Now, now attack. Kill this dribble. Dorothy changed his mind. He saw Worthy. But felt he would have thrown it away. And a reacher called on fair. Dominique gives a simple little cuff dunk off this missed shot by Banks. Watch his timing. Unbelievable time. Now watch him cuff. See that cuff? But that was only at half height. He has that unusual talent. He can leap. And he's so quick and reacts so well. Sam Perkins. Two for two from the line is 10 points in all. Sam, a sophomore, grew up in Brooklyn from Latham, New York. Rookie of the year in the ACC last season. As a freshman, he's given the Tar Heels a six-point lead. They were both pressure shots. Three and a half remaining. He can hit this one. He can. He's a tremendous outside shooter. Freshman from Birmingham, Alabama, with his first field goal, and it's North Carolina 55 and Georgia 51. It's his own breaker. Right, now get on him. First, have the man kill his dribble. Let him dribble first. Now don't leave your man sleeping. Dory saw the opening and again changed his mind. Now attack. Now attack when he kills the dribble. Right? Georgia with a three on two. Go yourself. Money. Perkins, quick rebound. Three down the other end. And James Worthy nearly going. Six point North Carolina lead. An important possession just a moment ago, and Fleming not able to hit. Well, what he did when he broke the foul line, he should have went all the way. Once the middle man on a fast break breaks the foul line, he should go all the way to the glass. Six points spread, plenty of time, two minutes, 25 seconds. And a timeout called by Joker coach Hugh Durham. We have seen a solid performance by the Tar Heels of North Carolina, but uh, no disappointment at all from the young man they call the Human Highlights film, number 21, Dominic Wilkins. He remind you of uh, anyone in particular that you've seen along the way? Well, now and then he does He does remind me of Dr. J. Obviously, this is set up, and here's Dr. J. Uh, but Dr. J has more maturity now, and uh, Dominic will be there maybe two or three years. 
Dominic may actually have a better outside shot uh, than Julia Serving, although I think his shot selection should be criticized this afternoon. Double zero, Wilmore Fowler has come on for the first time, a senior from Florida. Here's Crosby. Yes. I told you, you can't let that guy shoot. I wonder why they don't get him the ball more. He's two for two. Unbelievable outside shot. Down to four points, a lot of time left. North Carolina leading 57, 53, just under. Now Cuba. pinch, now pinch, jump. You got a pinch. I told you. Once you get the pinch, now the ball goes to Carolina for this jump ball. Now remember, obviously, the next one goes to the dogs. There's the arrow. Good play by double zero. Wilmore Fowler, our transfer from Kansas who just checked on. Hugh Durham, coach of many, many years at Florida State, moved into Georgia four years ago, is rebuilding, needs a center. Man's inside, you're in trouble. Perkins got inside that time, you're in trouble. They line up in a straight line on the out of bounds. Not doing it this time, they line up in the box this time. Now watch the baseline men pick for the out men. They'll get the ball to Jordan. There you go. Okay. And this is Black calling it out. Get the clock running down. A minute 45 left. Here's Jordan taking it in. No, he shouldn't have shot. And uh -oh. very fortunate to get a, a foul called on Georgia. Blocking foul. Ooh, ooh that's, a, that's, a, that's a close call. That, that one uh, could have gone either way. Terry Fair collecting number four, but no argument from uh, Durham. No, no, let's watch. Gee, I, I, I don't know. I, I let the uh, let you call it yourselves out there. Let's take another peek at this, another angle. Here we go. Gee, I, I really don't know. You know when I say I don't know, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean it shouldn't be the other way. <laughs> no, Al, you never I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, I thought that was a charge. Big time in the game. It's a four-point spread. Let's see what the freshman does. It's a 74% foul shooter. Ooh, that's a big call because it could be a two-point game the other way. Yeah. North Carolina by five, Mike Jordan. Out of Wilmington, North Carolina. However, the Tar Heels recapture. Important back tap. Gordon. Throws it away. focused on Dominic Wilkins coming in. People say, hey, we have a pretty fair play here by the name of James Worthy. Well, I think why we did this is that they don't get a peek at Dominic. People see North Carolina so many more times. And obviously, James Worthy's an All-American. I put on my first team All-American at the top of the year. My first team All-American was Sam Bowie, Stick Sampson, uh, Cummings. Uh, I can't think of the other guys. <laughs> You may be adjusting it as the season progresses. Terry Fair fouled out, incidentally, to set Perkins to the line. And North Carolina has just taken it over here in the final minute and a half. There's Doherty. And Jordan decided to pass up the shot. Following this North Carolina Georgia game, we'll be showing highlights from yesterday's exciting Clemson Virginia game. Dominic Wilkins. 19 points. Clemson with the near upset. And Clemson, South Carolina, a senior on NBC. Oh, the move by Jordan. It'll count. 360 more by the freshman, Mike Jordan. 
film to his right. Here's Al. Dominic, how do you feel about playing back home in front of your fans? Well, I feel good about playing back home. You know, it's always good to come back home and play in front of your home state. And it was a real exciting game. You know, I just wanted to get here and do the best I can, hope the team do the best they can. I think we did okay. We had a lot of mistakes, but we're going to capitalize on the next game, I hope. Sam Perkins and James Worthy, uh, did they make you kind of jump a little bit higher tonight? Well, you know, I, every time I play, I usually try to go to the boards hard, jump a little higher, but I think they, they were real competitive. They made me do a lot of things to work to get the ball, and I give a lot of credit to them because they really played well on the inside. Would you rather play down low more, see that they forced your play on the top of the key? You were taking some 14 and 17 foot jumpers. Well, I can play inside. I, I prefer to play inside, but the, the chance wasn't inside for me, so I had to go to the outside. Last year, you made an announcement at the uh, spring football game after the year that you were going to come back for the finals uh, for your junior season. Are you going to make the announcement at the spring football game again this year? Well, probably so. You know, I'll wait to have the season to make that decision. But I think one way or the other, you know, I'll, I'll come down with it around that time. Who are you having the most trouble with when you play in the uh, SEC? Well, the most trouble is two teams we had the most trouble is Alabama and Kentucky. They really give us a go every time we play. They're the, probably the two toughest teams in our league, and they really value you on the boards. Well, you know, how come you didn't go to either North Carolina or North Carolina State? It seems strange that a, a ball player of your caliber would go down to Georgia that didn't have tradition, that didn't have a basketball program. They're known for football. Right, that's true. What do we want to do? Me, a couple of other guys on the team, wanted to go to a place where the program wasn't that good and help build a program. And I think we have done that since we've been to Georgia. ACC is a real good company. I think it's one of the best in the country. I just wanted to go to a school to help build a tradition. Thank you. Back to you, Mob. All right, Al. Dominic Wilkins with 19 points, 10 rebounds, five block shots this afternoon. As you check out the scoop move to the bucket by Dominic, the man who has been compared favorably by NBA people with number six, the doctor of Don Julius Irving, who does it the same from the right for the Philadelphia 76ers. So North Carolina has defeated Dominic in Georgia by the score of 66 to 57. The most valuable player for today's game, James Worthy of North Carolina, 